Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to recreate this really cute Bride of Frankenstein uh, wine goblet here um, on this blank piece of pottery. So we're going to start with the inside, uh, which is just three coats of Jumpin' Jelly purple. Um, and I'm going to use a fan brush here. So we're just going to coat the inside real, real good with three coats of paint. Okay, once we have the three coats of paint on the inside, we're going to sketch uh, the face onto the front of the mug. Um, I'm going to start with the lips at the bottom. Okay, once we have the face sketched on, we're going to add the swirl to the stem of the goblet using the banding wheel. So you'll just center the, the base of the goblet right in the center of the banding wheel and spin with your left hand and with your right hand hold the pencil and just pull it down really gently as you're spinning it and it'll give you that nice swirl so you have a guideline when you go to actually paint the black on there. So it's as simple as that. Okay, once the three coats on the inside is dry, we're gonna take a toothbrush and fleckle the inside to give it that sort of splattered look. Um, so just dip your bristles into the paint and pull your finger back against the bristles and the paint will go splattering right into the inside of the mug there. Okay, now we're going to paint the blue on the face here. Um, and we're just gonna use a medium round brush and some Jumpin' Juniper paint. It's just a one swooshy coat all over the face. I am gonna kind of avoid the areas where I have the hair. Um, it's okay if you go into that space a little bit. The paint will be layered pretty heavily on top, so you shouldn't be able to see it much. Okay, once the, the blue paint is dry to the touch, we're gonna outline the face in puffy paint. So you can kind of still see where your pencil lines were. If you need to redraw them on, you can. Just make sure you're really light with the pencil, but I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, so we're gonna add the black spiral to the stem uh, just the same way we did with the pencil but using the black paint the black paint on the liner brush. So just start by spinning the banding wheel real gently, pull the brush down real slow and create a spiral. Um, we are going to add some paint to this to make it the line a bit thicker, but just so that we have a guideline. Uh, we're going to do it this way to begin. So just go until you've got your spiral all the way around and down to the bottom of them. Okay, so once you have that on there, then you can just go ahead and sort of thicken your line all the way down. Okay, so once the spiral is painted on the stem, we're going to go back and work on the face. Uh, now that the puffy paint is a little bit more dry, we're going to fill in uh, all the parts of the face. So I'm going to start with the lips, and I'm using Red Blaze paint. So we'll just fill that in with the Fun Rider. So now that we're finished filling in all the, the colors on the face, we're just going to add the rim, and then we'll, we'll be finished. So just get some black paint on the flat end of your sponge. And then you can just leave it right on the banding wheel there and just sort of turn the banding wheel and gently press the sponge down on the top of the rim. And you'll want to do this three times to get a nice solid coverage. And if you don't have a banding wheel, you can just sort of hold it and run the sponge along the rim there, just like that. Okay, so now we have our Bride of Frankenstein mug all finished and ready to be fired. And when it's done, it will turn out looking just like this one.